I've been really fortunate to be on the ground this year in regards to a lot of environmental issues. And I don't like using the word environmental issues because, again, to me, when we talk about the environment, we're talking about ecofeminism. We're talking about racism. 45 minutes south of Los Angeles, we have the largest oil refinery west of the Mississippi, and it's a 92% Hispanic community. None of us up here have to deal with fracking wells in our backyards. None of us up here have to deal with oil drills in our church parking lots and in our child elementary school kids' parking lots, but they do. And the way that the world works right now, the way that the system in America works, is unfortunately all of us get to be here tonight with makeup and dresses and nice suits, eating delicious organic food. And those people who are directly being affected, whose little kids have to rely on asthma respirators to help them because they're playing in a soccer field right next to a giant fracking well. They don't get the luxury of being here and being able to communicate and having a voice the way that we have a voice and a platform right now. So I want to thank all of you for being here and using your voices and using your platforms because you wouldn't be here tonight if you didn't have that passion inside of your soul. And again, this isn't just about saving our earth. This is about recognizing that in order to protect our future generations, in order to ensure that there are future generations, we have to continue to protect the earth that we live on. I have had the luxury and the privilege of being in North Dakota for the past two months on the ground with the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. When I first got there, there was 35 people. Now there are over 10,000 in two months. And what Laura mentioned, which was a giant victory, Obama's administration, along with the Department of Justice and the Army Corps of Engineers, stepped in and temporarily halted construction, which is great news. But since they've done that, there have been over 200 arrests still. Okay, two days ago, they came in with tanks, with armed forces, with rifles and autom semi-automatic weapons, pointed at these protesters who are peaceful. This is the state of the world that we're living in when you try to protect clean water, not just for one nation and one community, but for all human beings, you are confronted with tanks and semi-automatic weapons. So the work we're doing here tonight by showing our faces, by showing up, we're past the point of signing a, p a petition. We're past the point of simply talking about it. We have to use every single resource that we have access to. So thank you for being here, and I'm so excited to continue these conversations and continue networking and continue connecting with all of you because this is how we're going to ensure my future babies will have a planet to not just survive on but thrive on, like Gunnar said. Thank you.